Hello guys, welcome back to our channel Homeopathic Trials. Today in this video we are going to learn injury remedies from the syllabus of second year BHMS. This video would prove useful to you all for revision as well as for the understanding of these remedies in detail. Till now in our previous videos we have covered all the important drug picture topics which can be asked for 20 marks in your exams. So do not forget to watch those videos too. So without wasting much more time let's begin. But before beginning, guys, do not forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel. So the very first injury remedy which we are going to learn today is Bellispur. So Bellispur is a remedy belonging to the Compositae family and Cancer Myism, where the main feeling in these patients is a strong desire to control their injury or hurt. So if we have a quick look at the mental side of the Bellispur, we see that these people have a painful hard spot in their emotions which is created because of some maltreatment or because of being constantly hurt by others. But the most interesting part is that they never reveal their this spot in presence of others. So such people are usually considered to be very strong by others. But the truth is that they are very sensitive and they crave for that love and stability in their life. Thus, when they are sure about other person's genuine interest in knowing them, they tend to open up easily. From this description, we can usually get confused between the remedies like Nitramure, Ignatia and Acid Foss and Bellispur. But the main difference is that in most severe conditions too, Bellispur manages to keep up a happy, happy face while other remedies do not. Now Bellispur as a remedy acts really well on organs or in cases like that of body pain, injuries or varicose veins. Bellispur is an important remedy for varicose veins during pregnancy with stasis and fact being the most important keynote of this remedy. Now when we talk about the action of Bellispur in cases of injuries, it is a remedy known for its great action in injuries of the deeper tissues. Bellispur can also be used in cases where patients experience sore and bruised feeling in the pelvic organs because of ill effects of masturbation. It is also an important remedy for railway spine, that is, the back issues caused by excessive travelling by the railways. Another important point of Bellispur is its action in the cases of body pain where the patient feels sore and bruised feeling from getting overheated or overcold in opposite weather. And the interesting part of this is that the patient feels better by cold applications locally. Next injury remedy which is to be studied is Symphytum. Symphytum is a remedy which belongs to Borigonaceae family and has a common name of Comfrey. Symphytum is a specific remedy for fractures in homeopathy, especially fractures caused after mechanical injuries. When symphytum is prescribed in such cases of fractures, it helps in union of bones by promoting callus formation. Also, symphytum helps in reducing pricking pains of the fractures and also acts really well in cases where the patient's eye is injured due to some obtuse object, for example, a ball or from a child's fist, etc. The next important injury remedy is Ruta graviolens. Now, Ruta is a remedy belonging to the family Rutaceae and the common name of this remedy is Ru. In the mental and the emotional sphere of this remedy, we see that these individuals are extremely discontented and quarrelsome. These individuals are dissatisfied with everything including themselves and this discontentment makes them quarrelsome and then weak. Another important mental symptom is that they are also very suspicious and have constant feeling of being deceived. In the physical sphere, we see that Ruta is an excellent remedy for acute sprains, especially of wrist and ankles. The main guiding indication for the use of Ruta is that there are lame and bruised feeling which is felt in the affected parts as well as in the whole body. Every part rested upon feels bruised for the patient of Ruta and it acts really well in cases of backache which is better by lying on back. Another important point of Ruta is that it acts really well in eye troubles caused by overusing of eyes in doing some fine work especially in bad lighting conditions. The next important injury remedy is Ledum Pal. Ledum Pal belongs to the family Ericaceae. In the mental emotional sphere, we see that these patients have a great aversion to company and fear of men with desire for solitude. In a single line, we can say that these individuals are cross, irritable and discontented with everything. In the physical sphere, we can see that the remedy acts really well in punctured wounds caused by sharp objects like rat bites, mosquito bites, etc. In such injuries, Patients have a throbbing, sticking and pain and a bruised, beaten feeling all over the affected parts. The most important modality which indicates use of Lidampal is that the patient is markedly better by icy cold applications locally. Lidampal acts really well in injuries of eye 
where the patient has profuse bleeding from the anterior chamber of eye. Also, it is an excellent remedy for ascending rheumatism, which begins in leg and then goes upwards. The next important injury remedy is hypericum. Hypericum is a remedy having a common name St. John's Wort and belongs to the family Hypericaceae. Hypericum is a remedy which acts best in cases where the patient has injuries in the parts which are rich in sentient nerves, especially where the patients have intolerable pains. Hypericum is a remedy which acts best in nerve injuries and thus it acts very well in tetanus or tetanus after traumatic nerve injury. It is also an excellent remedy for convulsions after a blow on head. And at last, let's have a look at the remedy Calendula officinalis. Now, Calendula is a remedy belonging to Composite family and the main feeling is of a shock from sudden injury. In the mental emotional sphere, Calendula individuals are extremely nervous, irritable, fretful and get easily frightened. These individuals have a very low self-confidence and they constantly fear that something bad is going to happen and this fear makes them restless. Calendula in the physical sphere acts really well in lacerated wounds especially where there is severe blood loss. When prescribed in such open wounds, it promotes healthy granulations and fastens healing. Calendula also acts really well in cases of bruises, abrasions and burns. When given in the cases of amputations, it also helps in healing the patient faster. So guys, this was all about the injury remedies from second year syllabus. We hope that this video helps in revising these remedies as well as understanding them in detail.